Hello, fellow compatriots, and welcome to yet another review! And, uh, a special shout out to Diamond Shark for suggesting this, um, video. Yeah, also, name right here so that you guys can know the full name of that. I'm just going off the top of my head right now. Anyways, yeah, this was a quick build that I made. I um, tried to rush the production of it. Mainly because, you know, I had a deadline with this one. Um, so, it is a system build. This isn't a Bionicle mock or anything like that. This is entirely system. A system build, which is, I think, the first one in this channel that I've done a system build of. A system build review. The first one I've done. So, it's been years since I've actually purchased a system set, so let's see how well this one goes. <laughs> uh, so, without no further to do, my fellow compatriots, I introduce to you all the Flying Shark, aka the Mechanical Diamond Shark. I didn't be notice right off the bat, there is a red fin there. I did not have the fin in the proper color that I needed to be. Um, so I am sorry about it. And yeah, this is a um, basically I wanted to go for a slicer like approach, as um, the Diamond Shark suggested. He wanted it in a similar to my Lego Tributron, aka the the Lego Minecraft Tributron. So. What I did was I decided to go for a system build approach since I do not have oh, uh, that many joints left um, in terms of system. I hardly have that much system in my collection. I really need to get some more uh, system parts. So be sure to go ahead and leave suggestions in what system set you would like me to get in terms for just getting the parts from it because that would be great since I hardly have that much of a collection when it comes to system so any suggestion and uh, what sets to pick up just for the sake of parts will be greatly appreciated anyways let's go ahead and go straight to possibility so the mouth as you can see it can open can open pretty wide hold on it can open this much and it kinda has like a piston kinda thing going on um, and it can close in all the way. Uh, you may be noticing the mouth does not look that much like a shark. It looks more like a snake in a way with wings and a tail that's kind of like plain like. But it is supposed to be a shark. I just decided to go for a slicer like design. Um, the wings, they can. They're on, oh wait a minute, the head? <laughs> Let's go to the head. The head can do a full 360 because it's on a ball joint. Uh, sorry for bumming the camera there. It can go down this far. It can go up this far. And you got playing a tilt. Now uh, when the head is tilted, there will be some hindrance, of course, because of these curved pieces. So be sure to, you just have to be aware of those um, hindrances but it doesn't affect like posing whatsoever um, there are some little winglets over here that can fold inward all the way and can fold outward this is to cover up the mixel joints a little bit on the underside so that it looks good all around um, as you can see here there is some little blasters over here so that this guy can go ahead and shoot a bunch of bullets go a pew 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 uh, blasty duda blast them all to smithereens kind of thing uh, 360 at the wings can go up this far so you could go like praise the aquatic spirits or what have you and can go down this far until it starts untapping itself so yeah, he, he can be like a, a, a sad, a sad fellow, or just a ready to dive. Basically, it's like I'm gonna eat you, even if you like it or not, kind of thing. Um, yeah. Also, the tail. You've got nine degrees of rotation in either way. Um, 
um, a swivel here, ratcheted swivel. So you got ratchety swivels. So you you can. It's very stiff, so you don't have to worry about a sagging tail. Uh, 90 degrees of bend over here on either side. Um, his thruster can pop off in case if you do not want him to be a flying shark and just be an aquatic shark. But that's not fun. We want our sharks to fly. A, pe uh, a, a mock mocker can dream. Um, very loud ratchet. Very loud. Oh, look at that. Mm, that buttery goodness. Anyways, um, that is it for possibility of this figure. Um, so, there is no functions either, it's just mostly... But, you may have noticed by the looks of these wings, and I know you probably look at these wings and... They look familiar, don't they? Don't they? But it makes good shark wings, though. It makes good shark wings. Anyways, let's go into some size comparisons. Can we, wait a minute, can we get him to stand on his tail? Because, oh, that would be interesting. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's rotate it here. There we go. Look at him, look at him. He looks like he's swimming. He actually looks like he's swimming. He's looking very cool. All right, let, let's bend this down. Oh, that looks amazing. Anyways, let's go do some size comparisons while he's like this. So, you got your boy, Pohati here, Toamata Pohati from 2001, first Bionicle I ever got him. Come on, buddy, come on, buddy. Stand, stand tall and proud, would ya? There we go. Oh, no, the, the, Pohati's presence was too much. It was too much to handle. Anyways, fish aren't meant to stand, so let's just have him down. Like a sad little shockaroo. Actually, no, it's not the same. I want a standing shark. Let me have this. Let me have this. Just let me have this one. That's all I ask. Just let me have this one. Anyways, here he is with a modified Turaga Onua. Hopefully, I'm pronouncing that right. Whoop. And here he is with Uniter Tahu, yeah, which is a big boy. It's a big boy. Yes, I'm holding the camera. Isn't that professional? And don't you like it? Wow, such professionalism. Wow. And of course, we cannot forget the beloved good guy. Good guy. And good guy, well, half of a good guy because he's missing literally half of his body. But hey, it's still a good guy. So how many good guys tall is this guy? Let's see here. Let's, let's see here. Like three good guys tall. I would say three good guys tall. Yeah, you can't see that. Three. Um, actually, a little bit shorter than three good guys. And you're probably wondering, can't I? And whoa, 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 good guy, you do not do that to good guy. That is, no, 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 no. And, of course, because this is supposed to be a shark, why not compare him with a very old mock that I used to do make a while back ago? Pridak. Oh, great. No, no, looks like the fish is out of the water with this one, guys. Looks like the fish is out of the water. Oh, no. Oh, no. The king of the seas. So, yeah, this is what a shark head looks like. Yes. Um, he's... I didn't want to make it look too much like Pridak. Um, which is why I opted for the slicer-like visor design. Because I didn't want to have, like, two Pridaks. If that makes sense. But, yeah, he's... He, he's... Look at it. It's massive. It's a massive... Pridak, you're, you're too big for this world. You're too big for this world. Anyways, yeah, there, there's Pridak. Anyways, that's about it for this video. So, without further ado, take it away, myself. Hello, and welcome to the end of the video. Just a quick update. I have been working on on several mocks as of late. Still had to finish and, uh, the... 
myself mocked and I make them for legal ideas. It is coming along pretty well. Um, I got sorry, some bags here of the system of the self mark that I'm making. It's becoming tr pretty big. Um, it's going to have every single function integrated into it. So as you can see here with the legs, it's going to be able to walk by itself through wind power. That is my plan. It's going to be a wind powered uh, walking mechanism. You're probably wondering how can you make something out of Lego wind powered. Oh, there is a way, trust me. Also, I got part one of the parts of the torsos in here as well. Uh, so all of this uh, stuff isn't going to be seen in the final version. It's all going to be system with a Technic frame, uh, basically for my self mod. I also have plans that it will have a light up eyes as well. So stay tuned for that. Um, anyways. If you guys want to follow me in any forms of social media, be sure to go uh, to the links in the descriptions down below. I have Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr, and also, if you want to see videos a week early in advance, be sure to go on to Patreon. There you can always find videos a week early in advance. So, be sure to check that out. And also, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video. And also, subscribe if you want to see even more content. Anyways, that is about it for this video, so I hope you all enjoyed. And like always, I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys!